What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, I want to teach you how to create tiny planet video like this one, and this one, and probably like this one. So, this kind of tiny planet photo is called tiny planet polygraph. Essentially, it's a photo, it's a still photo. We're using a software called Polygraph Plus to animate in mobile app. I want to give a huge shout out to Ben Claremont. He's the first one to teach us how to actually create stuff like this. And he's the first one to actually create that. So thank you, Ben, to have this creative inspiration for us. So, and show your knowledge to us so we know exactly how to create that. Okay, so if you still don't know how to create that or you want to learn the technique, how to actually do that, and this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. So first thing first, you need the software called Polygraph. So go on App Store and go search Polygraph Plus. So it's a really new mobile app uh, released by Polygraph to let you create exactly photo like this one. So go ahead and open it. Uh, as you see, I already have some project here, but let's go check it out like the photo I created already. So we get uh, you a feedback of what's going on. So that is the reason why I created. Let's play that. As you see, I am not moving, but the cloud is floating around me. Look really cool. They're floating really fast. And as you see, this picture is very high def. It's an HDR picture. Uh, again, how can I create such a high definition HDR? As you see, the sun is not blowing out. Everything retained in the picture is a very HDR look. Uh, I actually take a picture with this camera right here. This is the Instant 360 Pro and it can shot 8K raw 360 photos. So if you want to learn how to create photo like this, I have a tutorial. I put a link below to teach you how to create that. But that is the video as you always watch again. Uh, that is a raw photo and put polygraph animation on top of it. So that is one style. People usually move around the crowd. Uh, I can show you another one right here. So as you see, uh, people just move around the, the crowd like this. There's also pretty high dynamic range photos. Look at that. Uh, you basically need to increase the dynamic range to make the crowd uh, show so you actually use on, uh, on in the animation. And the other style people usually do is like this one. Let me find a good one. This one, besides the clouds moving, the water is actually moving as well. The large body of water hitting the, the short here, as you see. Uh, as you see in the intro and you see here. So how can I create photo like this one? So again, uh, let's start from scratch. So before we even start from Tiny Planet, actually, uh, we will start from when you import photo from your camera, maybe your Nikon key mission, your Samsung gear, your Xiaomi, or even 8K raw photos from here, processing here. Uh, so here is a photo that uh, capture, uh, capture in the Instant 360 Pro, uh, 8K raw. As you see, it's a really high dynamic range. But again, the photos, you see the sky is blow out, pretty blow out. So if you make this, make this photo move, you hardly can see the moving crowd. So the first step is actually not going to polygraph is try to increase the dynamic range to let you see the moving cloud. So retain the high line. And you can usually do that in Photoshop, but again, this whole workflow gotta all happen in mobile because you want to take a photo, transfer it into your phone, edit it, and post it on Instagram fast. You don't want to go into your studio and do that. But that is the whole point of this tutorial. So uh, the first step is you actually gotta process it. Uh, go ahead. Uh, using Snapseed by Google. So open that. So as you see, I already processed this photo, but I will do it all over again so you can follow along. So open this photo as you see right now. Uh, I need to basically drop the high line. So go ahead and hit tune image in here. Our first thing we we'll do will actually increase, as you see, if I increase the ambience, uh, basically that's the HDR too. Basically increase uh, the detail of the image. If you use Lightroom, it's, it's more like increase the, um, what, what, what the clarity, the clarity of the image. And that is basically the same effect. So I will actually max out 100%. So now you see a super clear, clear picture at all the 
dark spot highlight now or showcase into the picture. Let's hit it before, after, before, after. And that is the after effect you need to do before you bring it into polygraph. So uh, I would usually just add a little bit saturation, a little bit contract. See if I drop the shadow, I can increase the, the contract a little bit more. Uh, this picture a little bit uh, cold, I'll add some warm here. And I will not touch the brightness um, and contract here because I shot in daytime, so it's pretty bright. So now you see, at least we can see the cloud right now, the highlight area. So go ahead and save it. And the next step we do is, I still want to increase the HDR, high dynamic range style of the picture to make it even more obvious. So next step uh, I do is actually got to pick HDR space. That is my secret technique. I do it all the time to my picture. If you haven't followed my Instagram yet, by the way, please go ahead and follow my Instagram to see all my HDR dynamic range tiny planet photos. So I usually see that. I will usually pick people. You can pick nature, but people. So we we'll pick people. You can see now the sky is really blue and the cloud is really white. See, before, after, before, after. You can really see the crowd right now and that is a prep what we need to actually bring the whole image into the polygraph. So go ahead, polygraph, sorry. Right, so go ahead and hit save. And go ahead and save the everything. I will save as a copy. Okay, now it's safe. So now go ahead and bring up polygraph right here and just hit plus sign, uh, find that image we just created right here. Okay, look at this high dynamic image right here. So uh, now I need to make it move. So how to make it move is pick the anime feature and just draw some arrow around the image. And go ahead and hit play. And as you see now the image moving now, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but again, I don't want me to move. I want the, my planet and me static and, the, and around me the crowds moving. So it's a two way to do this. You can draw a mass, mass around this whole area to do it. But again, because I'm working on a mobile phone, which is an iPhone 6 plus, uh, I don't even use an app on iPad. If you use one on iPad, the big iPad one, you have the pen, you can, you can use the, like the style of the Photoshop, the pen too, right? You can just trace the edges and you can do it really precise. But the thing is, I just get rid of it. I'm doing it on the phone on the go. I want to publish this video really fast on my Instagram so I can continue to make my Instagram follower happy. So I have content. So uh, I don't own an iPad. So I want to do it in the phone. I find out the best way to actually pin down the image is not use masking tool, is actually use anchor. So go ahead and pick anchor tool, and I'll be really be careful to tap the edges of my globe, and then my face. So go ahead and protect everything. So, so you see, uh, I kind of make a mistake. Uh, I can just hit this rewind too, to rewind because I want the pinpoint to be the edges of the image you want to protect. So go ahead, I've got pretty fat fingers right here. So uh, let me make sure my finger, again, make a mistake. So it's actually very easy. You just need to make sure that you tap in the edges. And now it's done. Let's go ahead and review it. Now look at me. I am not moving and the crowd is moving now. That's, that's dope. It's pretty awesome. That's the effect we want. Uh, you, now you just need to like fix any mistake you see. Uh, if you see this tree here is moving because you need a more anchor point. So we basically anchor around it. And also you see the branch of the tree here is moving on the uh, on your lower left, right? Uh, so go ahead and put more anchor in here. Just anchor that thing down. And then now, great. So I can now go ahead and draw more animation. Uh, you just make the animation more smooth. So I draw a couple more animation. I can play it. Look at the result. Now it's 
now the animation have more layer because I just draw a couple more and it look great. So uh, one of the thing I like this uh, is actually after this, I will go ahead and, and play the speed. Uh, for this one, I actually like to go really fast. If you see the one I'm on Instagram to make it super dynamic. So we go ahead and play it. And now you have this really fast moving video image effect and I really love it. Uh, again, uh, if you want to change the animation, you can hit the select tool, hit that and see you can move it or you can delete it. If you want to edit the, um, the animation point, you can also do that with like anchor point. So you can edit anchor point as well. If you realize that you anchor the wrong spot, then you want to make it move. Okay, so uh, let's preview it. Now I'm very happy about it. Uh, so now I need to publish it directly onto my Instagram. So it's actually very really easy for Polygraph app. Go ahead and hit share. And then you can send a text message to your loved one or your friend to show you how cool you are and create like video photo like that. But I usually just hit social media and I will save the high resolution version, which is 9020 time 920 into my photos. That's usually what I do. And then I post it on Instagram, but you can also say directly on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Polygraph uh, and Twitter. So you can do all that. It's very convenient. So I'm um, go ahead and set it on my camera roll. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you, now you know exactly how to create this will be interesting, dynamic, moving, tiny planet video, photos, and post it on your Instagram, on your Facebook, and share it to your friend and family. And hey, if you create anyone, uh, please tag me and let me know. Uh, tag me at and tiny hill planet on Instagram or creator up at on Instagram. So let me know what you created. If you love this video, please give me a thumb up. And if you have more questions, please comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. That helped me to create, continue to create free content for you guys to help you guys create more cool 260 VR video or Tiny Planet video. So I will see you next time.